Yes, yes, Mr. T here from CHMS. And uh, we're talking about outlining the treehouse design. So we're gonna start out with some Sharpie. And I'm using the thicker of the two to get started with the things, in this case, the branches that are in front to kind of help show space. So I'm using the thicker lines for objects and things I want to stand forward in the design. And I'm gonna use the thinner Sharpie kind of in the background, you'll see how it looks. But I definitely want to use two sets of lines, thick lines and thin lines. And if you don't have Sharpies, that's fine. You can get it done even just with a normal pen. Just be aware of how thick or thin your lines are going, or if you just want to use a pencil. But I know a lot of people understand how to use a thick line and a thin line when drawing. But that's what this section of the video is, is just showing you how I use thick lines and thin lines in this project to help show space. Shallow space. So I'm switching over to the thinner and I'm doing some detail work on the little turret at the top of the treehouse. Kind of messing around with some of the leaves and the foliage. Help connect the picture. And you can see now that I'm doing some thinner lines behind those two thicker branches, the branches stand closer to the viewer in the of the image and the details kind of sit back just a little. Just like the clouds, not the clouds, the puffy uh, foliage of the tree. Looks like it sits behind the tree house and behind the branch that I'm drawing it on. You can tell how that works. See, the thinner line helps those pieces sit in the back. And then the added detail helps add interest and information to what it is you're looking at. If it's wood, it should look like wood. If it's made out of metal, it should look like metal. If it's fluffy tree leaves, it should look like fluffy tree leaves, even in a simplified, cartoony sort of format like I'm drawing here. Just kind of adding in a little bit of shadow in a couple spots, just real simple. Right there is a good example. I'm using the thinner lines for the detail on some of the surfaces. And it's kind of fun once you get going. You get into a little rhythm, you kind of cruise through. Kind of working on that like balcony part of the treehouse with a little rope. Adding some little details here and there where I feel as though they're needed. Now I'm going to go with the eraser of a pencil, and you can use any eraser, it doesn't have to be attached to your pencil. And I'm just getting rid of some of the pencil lines I don't need anymore, some of the lines I was using to guide myself through the drawing. So I'm just getting rid of some of those, cleaning up the art. And it's almost done! Clean off some of those scrippity scraps, and then payao. One sharpie, two sharpie, and there's a close up of how it could look. Hope you learned a little something, and don't forget, success comes for those who try. If you just sit there and look at it, it's not going to get itself finished. Boom!